and to realize the incredible... I have something truly transformative to share with you. Are you ready for a breakthrough? It's time to take just one day and change your life forever. Yes, you heard me right. Just one day. Listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Your thoughts and words have incredible power. They shape your reality in ways you might not even realize. But today, we're going to harness that power for your benefit. In my teachings and literature, I've emphasized the importance of self-love, positive affirmations, and reprogramming old patterns. These principles hold the key to unlocking your true potential and experiencing profound transformation. Now, I want you to imagine something for me. Close your eyes and envision your ideal life. What does it look like? How does it feel? Hold on to that vision because we're going to make it a reality starting today. Close your eyes and take a big breath in, filling your lungs with fresh air. As you breathe out, imagine letting go of all those pesky doubts and fears that have been holding you back. Picture them floating away like fluffy clouds in the sky. Now, I want you to know something important. You are deserving of all the good things in life. Yes, you. You deserve love, abundance, and joy, just like everyone else. So let's say it together, nice and loud. I am deserving. I am worthy. I love myself. It might feel a little strange at first, like trying on a new pair of shoes. But trust me, these words were made for you. They're like a warm hug for your soul, reminding you of your inherent worth and value. You see, my friend, you are a precious gem shining bright in the universe. You have so much to offer the world, and you deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, and love, especially by yourself. So let's say those words again with even more conviction this time. I am deserving, I am worthy, I love myself. Let them sink deep into your heart, like seeds planted in fertile soil, ready to blossom into beautiful flowers of self-love and acceptance. Imagine your mind as a garden full of rich soil just waiting to be planted. Now think of affirmations as tiny seeds little messages of positivity and empowerment that you can sow into the fertile soil of your subconscious. Just like real seeds, affirmations need a few things to grow. They need water, sunlight, and a little bit of love. In this case, the water is repetition, repeating your affirmations over and over again until they take root. The sunlight is belief, truly believing in the power of your words to create change, and the love well, that's your own self-love and acceptance, nourishing those seeds and helping them flourish. Now, let's talk about what happens next. As you continue to water and nurture your affirmations, something magical starts to happen. Those tiny seeds begin to sprout, sending tender shoots up towards the sky. But here's the thing, darling. Affirmations alone are not enough. You must truly believe in the words you speak. If there are any lingering doubts or negative beliefs, they will sabotage your efforts. It's time to confront those doubts head on. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I am enough. I deserve all the good things life has to offer. Mirror work is like having a friendly chat with yourself in the mirror. It's not just about seeing your reflection. It's about seeing yourself for who you truly are, beautiful, worthy, and deserving of love. Imagine standing in front of a mirror, looking into your own eyes and saying, I love you, or you are enough. It might feel strange at first, like talking to a long lost friend, but trust me, it's worth it. When you can look yourself in the eye and say those words with sincerity, it's like watering a plant with love and care. You're nurturing yourself from the inside out filling your heart with warmth and compassion. Think of it as planting seeds of empowerment in the garden of your soul. With each affirmation spoken in the mirror, you're tending to those seeds, giving them the sunlight and water they need to flourish and grow. 
It's not about vanity or ego. It's about self-love and acceptance. It's about embracing every part of yourself, the good, the bad, and the imperfect. Because let's face it, we're all a little bit messy and flawed, and that's what makes us human. Grab your journal and your favorite pen. Think of it like going on a treasure hunt, but instead of searching for gold coins, we're searching for hidden thoughts. Now let's dive into the depths of your mind. Imagine it's like exploring the ocean floor with all sorts of fascinating creatures lurking beneath the surface. Except this time, we're not looking for sea creatures. We're searching for those sneaky little thoughts that hold you back. Take a moment to close your eyes and breathe deeply. Let your mind wander and see what pops up. Maybe it's a thought that whispers, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed. Whatever it is, write it down without judgment. This is a safe space, like a cozy blanket on a chilly day. Be honest with yourself. No need to sugarcoat or pretend. Remember, honesty is like a compass guiding you towards truth and healing. So let those thoughts spill onto the page like raindrops on a window pane. As you write, you might notice a weight lifting off your shoulders. It's like clearing out a cluttered closet, making room for fresh air and sunshine. Each word you jot down is a step towards liberation and self-awareness. Don't rush. Take your time and let the words flow naturally. It's like savoring a delicious meal, enjoying every bite and sipping every drop. This process is nourishment for your soul, feeding it with truth and clarity. Once you've found those thoughts that make you feel not so good, it's like finding treasures in the attic. You've got to shine a light on them. Then we're going to play a little game of words. Imagine you're a magician turning a frog into a prince. Take those thoughts that say you're not good enough and wave your wand of positivity over them. Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, say, I am more than enough. I am worthy of love and success. It's like changing the channel on TV. You don't like what's playing, so you switch to something better. Same goes for your thoughts. If a negative thought pops up, hit the remote and switch it to the positive channel. It might feel strange at first, like trying on a new pair of shoes, but soon it'll feel like they were made just for you. Think of it like planting seeds in a garden. The negative thoughts are like weeds choking your flowers. But when you replant them with positive affirmations, you're nurturing beautiful blooms of self-love and confidence. So grab your gardening gloves and get to work. Sometimes it helps to imagine you're talking to a friend who needs cheering up. What would you say to them? You'd probably tell them how amazing they are and how much they deserve happiness. Well, guess what? You deserve that same love and kindness too. So be your own best friend and shower yourself with words of encouragement. Imagine you're building a house. The negative beliefs are like shaky foundations, but positive affirmations are the bricks that make your house strong and sturdy. With each affirmation, you're adding another brick building a fortress of self-belief that nothing can tear down. It's like painting a picture. You start with a blank canvas, and each affirmation is a brush stroke of color, creating a masterpiece of self-love and empowerment. So dip your brush in the paint of positivity and let your inner artist shine. You are the creator of your reality. Every thought you think and every focus on positivity, you create a fertile ground for abundance, joy, and success to blossom. But just as every flower needs water and sunlight to grow, every thought you think counts. Your thoughts are powerful. They have the ability to shape your reality and attract experiences into your life. Positive thoughts act as magnets drawing in goodness and abundance, while negative thoughts repel them. Think of it like this. If you plant seeds of negativity, you'll only harvest weeds. But if you plant seeds of positivity, you'll reap a bountiful harvest of happiness and fulfillment. So how do you cultivate a happy mental atmosphere? 
It starts with awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts and notice when negativity creeps in. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, gently redirect your focus to something positive. Affirmations are like little seeds you plant in the garden of your mind. They're positive statements that you say to yourself over and over again, like a mantra. And just like watering a plant helps it grow, repeating affirmations regularly helps grow positivity in your life. Imagine you have a garden in your mind, and every time you say an affirmation, it's like planting a beautiful flower. Instead of seeds, you're planting thoughts, thoughts of confidence, worthiness, and success. Let's say you have a thought that pops into your head like, I'm not good enough. That's a weed in your mental garden. It doesn't belong there, and it's not helping anything grow. But instead of letting that weed take over, you can replace it with a beautiful flower, an affirmation. So instead of saying, I'm not good enough, you can say, I am worthy and capable of achieving my goals. See the difference? One thought brings you down while the other lifts you up. But here's the thing. Affirmations only work if you believe in them. It's like planting a seed in the ground. If you don't water it and give it sunlight, it won't grow. So when you say your affirmations, say them with conviction and belief. Feel the words sinking into your subconscious mind, like rain nourishing the soil. Let's talk about the power of setting intentions. When you say, I'm going to or I will have, you're sending a message to the universe. You're telling it what you want and the universe listens. But here's the thing, it's crucial to be clear and specific about your intentions. Think of it like placing an order at a restaurant. If you're not clear about what you want, you might end up with something you don't like. So instead of saying, I don't want to be sick anymore, try affirming, I accept perfect health now. See the difference? By stating what you do want perfect health, you're sending a clear message to the universe. You're telling it exactly what you desire and it will work to bring it to you. Let's talk about the power of positive thinking. It's amazing how a simple shift in your words can completely change your life. Instead of focusing on what you don't want, focus on what you do want. Let's take a look at some examples. If you find yourself saying, I hate my body, try reframing it to, I love and appreciate my body. Your body is incredible. It allows you to move, to breathe, to experience life. So why not show it some love and gratitude? By shifting your mindset to one of appreciation, you'll start to see your body in a whole new light. Similarly, if you're feeling stuck in a job you don't enjoy, instead of saying, I'm stuck in a lousy job, try saying, wonderful new doors are opening for me all the time. You see, the universe responds to the energy you put out. When you focus on the positive, you attract more positive opportunities into your life. So trust that something better is on its way and keep your eyes open for new possibilities. Love and appreciation are incredible gifts that you can give to yourself for better health. Think of them as magic potions that work wonders for your well-being. When you treat your body with love and kindness, it responds in remarkable ways. Imagine your body as your best friend, someone who's by your side no matter what. Just like a loyal friend, your body supports you through every up and down, always there when you need it most. Now think about how you would talk to this cherished friend. You'd speak with kindness, compassion, and encouragement, right? You'd lift them up with words of love and appreciation, celebrating their strengths and supporting them through their challenges. Well, guess what? Your body deserves that same love and kindness. So instead of criticizing or judging it, try speaking to your body with the same gentle and loving words you would to a dear friend. Take a moment to thank your body for all the amazing things it does for you every day. Thank it for helping you walk, breathe, laugh, and experience life to the fullest. Show it gratitude for its resilience, strength, and unwavering support. 
Imagine starting your day by looking in the mirror and saying, good morning, beautiful body. Thank you for being with me on this journey called life. I appreciate all the hard work you do to keep me healthy and strong. Can you feel the warmth and gratitude spreading through your body? When you shower your body with love and appreciation, amazing things start to happen. Your cells respond to the positive energy and you begin to feel more vibrant and alive. It's like giving your body a big hug from the inside out. But it's not just about what you say, it's also about how you treat your body. Nourish it with wholesome foods that fuel your energy and vitality. Choose fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins that nourish your body from the inside out. Now let's talk about nourishment. Just like a plant needs water and sunlight to thrive, your body needs nourishing foods to stay healthy. Choose foods that are filled with nutrients and vitamins, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods will fuel your body and give you the energy you need to tackle the day. But it's not just about what you eat. It's also about how you treat your body. Give it the rest it deserves by getting enough sleep each night. Happiness, those negative thoughts will grow and spread like weeds, choking out any possibility of growth or happiness. But if we plant seeds of positivity, like I am capable of achieving my dreams, or I am worthy of love and abundance, those positive thoughts will take root and flourish like a beautiful garden in bloom. So how do we change our thoughts and beliefs? It's all about shifting our focus. Instead of dwelling on what we lack or what we can't do, we need to focus on what we have and what's possible. Think of it like looking through a different lens. Instead of seeing obstacles, we see opportunities. Instead of dwelling on our weaknesses, we focus on our strengths. It's like changing the channel from a sad movie to a feel-good comedy. Suddenly, everything looks brighter and more hopeful. One powerful way to shift our focus is through gratitude. By focusing on what we're grateful for, we train our minds to see the abundance that surrounds us. It's like shining a spotlight on the good things in our lives, no matter how small they may seem. Imagine yourself living your dream life, abundant in love, joy, and prosperity. Feel the emotions as if it's already happening. That's the secret to manifestation feeling as if your desires are already fulfilled. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, but it can't be that easy. And you're right, it's not always easy, but it is simple. It's about making a conscious choice to shift your thoughts and beliefs towards what you want rather than what you don't want. Affirmations are like magic words that can change how we think and feel. They're simple sentences that we repeat to ourselves like, I am strong or I am enough. And here's the amazing part. They have the power to reprogram our subconscious mind. Think of your mind like a garden. If you plant seeds of negativity like, I'm not good enough or I'll never succeed, those negative thoughts will grow and spread like weeds. But if you plant seeds of positivity like, I am worthy of love and abundance or I'm grateful for all the blessings in my life, those positive thoughts will bloom into beautiful flowers. Repeating affirmations is like watering those positive seeds every day. It's like giving them the love and attention they need to grow strong and healthy. And the more you repeat them, the deeper they sink into your subconscious mind, reshaping your beliefs and attitudes from the inside out. It's important to choose affirmations that resonate with you personally. They should feel true and empowering like a warm hug for your soul. And don't worry if you don't believe them at first, that's normal. Just keep repeating them and eventually you'll start to feel their truth sinking in. The key is consistency. Make affirmations a part of your daily routine like brushing your teeth or eating breakfast. Repeat them in the morning to start your day on a positive note and again at night to reinforce them before bed. Another important aspect of manifestation is gratitude. When we focus on what we're grateful for, we attract more things to be grateful for. It's like a magnet that draws blessings into our lives. Take a moment each day to express gratitude for the blessings, big and small, in your life. Whether it's a beautiful sunset, a kind gesture from a friend, or a delicious meal, there's always something to be thankful for. Now let's talk about resistance. 
Resistance is like a barrier that blocks the flow of abundance into our lives. It often shows up as self-doubt, fear of failure, or limiting beliefs. But here's the thing. Resistance is just an illusion. It's created by our minds to keep us safe and comfortable. But growth and manifestation happen outside of our comfort zones. Overcoming resistance means breaking through the barriers that hold us back. It's like facing our fears and saying, I won't let you stop me. Instead of letting fear control us, we take charge and move forward with courage. So how do we do it? Well, it starts with facing our fears head on. Think of it like standing in front of a big scary monster and saying, I'm not afraid of you. It might seem tough at first, but when we confront our fears, we take away their power over us. Taking inspired action is another key part of overcoming resistance. It's like taking steps towards our goals, even when it feels hard. Maybe it's making that phone call we've been putting off or starting that project we've been dreaming about. Whatever it is, inspired action means following our heart and doing what feels right. And here's the thing, the universe notices when we face our fears and take action. It's like cheering us on from the sidelines saying, you've got this. When we show courage and determination, the universe rewards us with blessings and opportunities. Trust in the divine timing of the universe is like believing that everything happens at just the right moment. It's like knowing that the universe has a plan for you and it's unfolding perfectly, like a flower blooming at the perfect time. Sometimes we might feel impatient or anxious, wanting things to happen right away. But when we trust in the timing of the universe, we can relax and know that everything is happening in its own time. You see, the universe operates in its own rhythm, like the seasons changing or the tides ebbing and flowing. Just as we trust that the sun will rise each morning and set each evening, we can trust that our dreams are also on their way to us, like a train chugging steadily towards its destination. It's important to remember that the universe sees the bigger picture. It knows what's best for us, even when we can't see it ourselves. So even if things don't happen exactly when or how we want them to, we can trust that there's a reason for it. Maybe there are lessons we need to learn, or maybe there are other opportunities waiting for us around the corner. When we trust in the divine timing of the universe, we surrender control and allow ourselves to flow with the natural rhythm of life. It's like letting go of the reins and allowing the universe to guide us on our journey. And when we do that, we open ourselves up to infinite possibilities and blessings beyond our wildest imagination. Finally, I want to leave you with this thought. You are worthy of all the love, joy, and abundance the universe has to offer. You are a powerful co-creator of your reality and you have the power to manifest your wildest practice and the magic it can bring into our lives. You see, many of us desire change, we crave growth, but we often overlook the simple yet crucial step of consistent practice. Whether it's learning a new skill, adopting a positive mindset, or manifesting our dreams, practice is the key that unlocks the door to transformation. Just like a child learning to walk, we must be willing to stumble and fall, but never give up. If that little one threw in the towel after the first fall, it would never experience the joy of walking. Similarly, in our lives, we must embrace the journey of learning with open arms. Whether it's learning to type, drive a car, or think positively, the process remains the same. We start with fumbles and stumbles, but with each practice session, we get a little better. Remember, perfection isn't the goal here. Progress is what matters. I recall my early days of public speaking. After each lecture, I made a conscious effort to appreciate my efforts. Instead of criticizing myself, I chose to celebrate my progress. And you know what? It made a world of difference. With each speech, I grew more confident, more polished. I affectionately called my word processor Magic Lady. Learning to operate it was akin to understanding spiritual laws. When I aligned with its rules, it performed miracles for me. But when I resisted, it remained elusive. The lesson? Embrace the learning process. Follow the laws diligently and watch the magic unfold. Every day, 
I have a special routine that I treasure like a hidden treasure chest full of precious jewels. It's a time just for me, where I can take care of myself and focus on becoming the best version of myself. I call it my sanctuary because it's a sacred space where I can nourish my body, mind, and soul. My daily routine starts with gratitude. As soon as I wake up, I take a moment to give thanks for all the blessings in my life. I'm grateful for the cozy bed I slept in, the warm blankets that kept me comfortable, and the new day filled with possibilities ahead. After expressing my gratitude, I move into the day with intention. I set goals for myself and think about how I want to show up in the world. Maybe I want to be more patient with others, or perhaps I want to focus on spreading kindness wherever I go. Whatever it is, I make a conscious effort to infuse each moment with love and intention. Throughout the day, I take little breaks to check in with myself and reflect on how things are going. I ask myself questions like, am I living in alignment with my values? And what can I do to take better care of myself? These reflections help me stay grounded and focused on my goals. Imagine the power of starting your day with your loved ones, meditating together, setting intentions, and spreading harmony. It's a beautiful practice that nourishes the soul and strengthens bonds. How we begin our day sets the tone for what follows. I used to wake up with groans and complaints, and guess what? My day mirrored that negativity. But when I shifted my morning routine to one of gratitude and positivity, everything changed. So, start your day with thanks, my dear ones. It's a game changer. Meditation is a wonderful practice that helps to calm and soothe our minds. Think of it as a soothing balm, like when you put ointment on a cut or scrape. It's something special we can do for ourselves every day, like giving ourselves a little gift. When we meditate, we take time to sit quietly and focus our attention. We might pay attention to our breath, noticing how it feels as we breathe in and out. Or we might ask for guidance from within seeking answers to questions or problems we're facing. The beauty of meditation is that it's not about doing anything fancy or complicated. It's simply about being present in the moment, allowing our minds to settle and our thoughts to become clearer. Imagine you're in a busy room full of people talking and moving around. It can be hard to hear your own thoughts in all that noise. But when you close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, it's like stepping into a quiet, peaceful room where you can hear yourself think. That's what meditation does for our minds. It creates a space for us to find peace and clarity amidst the chaos of our everyday lives. When we practice meditation regularly, we start to notice changes in how we feel. We may feel calmer and more centered less stressed and anxious. It's like giving ourselves a little vacation from the worries and pressures of the world. But the benefits of meditation go beyond just feeling good in the moment. It also helps us to cultivate inner peace and clarity that we can carry with us throughout the day. Imagine you're driving in a car on a foggy day. It can be hard to see where you're going and you might feel uncertain and anxious. But when the fog clears, you can see the road ahead clearly and you feel more confident in your journey. That's what meditation does for our minds. It helps to clear away the fog of confusion and doubt, allowing us to see our path more clearly and make decisions with confidence. Affirmations are special words or phrases we say to ourselves to create positive thoughts and feelings. Think of them as seeds that we plant in the garden of our minds. When we repeat these affirmations often and with excitement, it's like watering those seeds, helping them to grow strong and healthy. Imagine planting a seed in a garden. If you water it regularly and give it sunlight, it will grow into a beautiful plant or flower. Similarly, 
When we nurture our affirmations with repetition, enthusiasm, and belief, we are giving them the care they need to flourish. Repetition means saying our affirmations over and over again. Just like watering a plant every day, repeating our affirmations regularly helps them take root in our minds. The more we say them, the stronger they become. Enthusiasm is like adding fertilizer to our affirmations. When we say them with excitement and energy, it adds extra power to their growth. Our enthusiasm fuels the belief in what we're affirming making it even more likely to come true. Belief is perhaps the most important ingredient in this process. Just as a plant needs the right conditions to grow, our affirmations need our unwavering belief to manifest into reality. When we truly believe in the words we're saying, we send a powerful message to our subconscious mind that what we desire is possible. Now, you might be thinking, how can just saying words make things happen? Well, it's all about the power of our minds. Our thoughts and beliefs have a profound impact on our lives. When we consistently feed our minds with positive affirmations, we start to see changes in how we feel and act. For example, if we repeat the affirmation, I am confident and capable every day, eventually we'll start to believe it. And when we believe in our own abilities, we're more likely to take action towards our goals. It's like giving ourselves a little pep talk every day, reminding us of our strengths and potential. I've seen countless miracles unfold through the power of practice. One client, despite her brilliance, struggled with change until she embraced daily meditation. Slowly but surely, she transformed her life one practice session at a time and let me share a personal story of manifestation through practice when i decided to move i affirmed that everything would sell easily and quickly and you know what my beliefs manifested into reality my possessions sold effortlessly and even my landlord offered to buy my furniture it's proof that consistent practice yields miraculous results everything you desire Every dream you hold is within your reach, but it requires practice, dedication, and unwavering belief. So embrace the journey, trust the process, and watch as magic unfolds in your life.